Bioluminescence is such a freaking cool thing. Look at this, we're so deep. There is absolutely no sunlight down here, but you can see all of the life and you can hear all of the life. This is just like so much creaking around me. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's up guys and welcome back to Subnautica. And before I start with today's episode, I want to take a brief second to explain where the series has been because a lot of people noticed that I did not make an episode last week, which is uncharacteristic. And the truth is, I really just wanted to take a break. I've been playing Subnautica every single week for about four months now, and I really just wanted to take a step back and play something else. With a lot of these survival games, once you've seen a lot of what there is to see and done a lot of what there is to do, it really kind of gets stale and loses a lot of its majesty, so I really want to actually sit down and want to play and to make an enjoyable video. I don't want to sit down and feel like I'm forced to play because it's that time every week, so I just wanted to take a break. But we're back, Subnautica isn't over, so don't worry, and uh, today I do have a couple of things planned. You know, the first thing I really want to do, because last episode, we went out and got um, a lot of blueprints and a lot of materials, and we haven't done a little bit of base building in a while, so I want to start off with some base building. I think I want to try to make a nuclear reactor because I'm not really feeling the solar panels plus bioreactor. I feel like if we can build one, you know, we might as well. So I think I need, what do I need to build a bio? Oh, I already have it, nuclear reactor. Titanium ingots, lead, and lubricant, whoa. And we can rotate it with Q and E. Where should you go? I'm gonna have you face the same way as the other one. Cool. Oh yeah, now we got the power. Why is it orange? Okay, I was gonna say, it would really stand out if it was orange in this all white room. Inactive. All right, so what do I need for you now? Processes nuclear rods. Okay, so we can take four nuclear rods, and I do have the stuff for rods, I believe. No, because last time, not there, okay, it's over here. Because last time we got um, uranite crystals. We had found that at some point recently as well. You need lead, you need titanium, uranite crystals, right? So I can use that to make uh, uranium, right? See, so we're gonna make a couple of things of uranium. Okay, we got two uranium, and then we can turn those into reactor rods used to power nuclear reactors. Okay. Should I be touching this stuff? I feel like this is probably not something I should be holding with my bare hands. We only have enough for two, but uh, that should probably be enough, right? I probably don't even need to waste two, but I'm gonna put two in anyway. That's one. That's two. So, are you going? It's so quiet. It's whisper quiet. Very interesting. Okay, our own little pocket nuke is up and running, I guess. Oh, yeah, you see, it went from uh, maximum 300 power to maximum 800 power. And it's going up, so I'd imagine that's a good thing. Okay, we have a little bit more power. And speaking of power, we can't actually bring this nuclear reactor with us, and I don't plan on spending a whole lot of time in home base Alpha, so I think last time we had found a battery charger and a power cell charger. So we can charge power cells and batteries, which is pretty sweet, because I didn't think you could recharge batteries at all. We need glass, that's all I'm missing. I'm pretty sure I have glass upstairs. Like, I, I do do a lot of edits in these videos. Damn, that moon is always super cool. Oh, there's another moon. I don't remember that. Is that new? Huh, okay, either way. I do do a lot of edits in these videos, and because of that, I kind of stockpile materials. Um. Do we have any glass here? No. Do we have any glass here? Yes. A couple things glass. There we go. Okay. I got lockers stored all over the place just full of random things because I really do like the base building, but I really don't want to do grinding on camera. I feel like that just completely defeats the purpose of a video. So we're going to put a battery. Actually, we can put both of them in here. We can put one right there. It's the battery charger. Okay. Cool, and a power cell charger. Oh, that's a bit bigger. That's fine though. That is awesome. Okay, so now we can use the nuclear power to charge our batteries and our power cells and then take it with us before we go. All right, man, home base alpha is getting decked out. Is there anything else that I wanted to make? We found um, these plant shelves and things like that. I kind of want to make a living wall. Do I have the thing for a living wall? I don't think I do anymore. 
We had found it, but I haven't scanned it since we like did the re-update. I get a sign. I get an aquarium. Self-sustaining aquatic habitat. Hmm, actually there's a big aquarium, isn't there? There's like a um an alien containment. I kinda wanna do that. But I need another room, right? I don't I don't have enough room. So I guess we can technically build off of this, can we? Maybe? So I should be able to add a corridor right here. Uh, right? There we go. Okay, we got a corridor. Eh. And then, oh man, because I got the moon pool angled the wrong way, I don't know if I can put a multi-purpose room here at the end. I might need to do like an ugly little curve and then put it over there. Ah, that's gonna piss me off. Okay, and then we could put a multi-purpose room right here with me inside of it. <laughs> okay, that works. And that is gonna be our creature containment. Um, oh crap, oh crap, oh no, 4.3. Okay, we're still good. I was afraid that I had screwed up and that our hull was gonna break, but we're still good. I might wanna put uh, a couple of Welcome things. Aboard, Thank you, Karen. Whoa, the whole, why is it, why is it moving? You see that? It's like, it's tilting when I turn my head. Very off-putting. Okay, I might need to put a couple of reinforcements over there just to be certain we don't lose the place. Actually, you know what? It's nice having a little view here. Can I put a window there? That would be ideal. Probably not. Okay, either way, we need titanium glass and probably more glass and titanium. Okay, I have all that crap. Cannot put a window here, that's a little bit sad, but we can put our alien containment. Holy crap, that takes up a lot of space. Whew. Oh, that is cool. Okay, so we can put, we can put aliens in here. I don't know what kind of aliens I want. How do I put them in? Is there like a, there's no, I don't get it. There's no like entrance or like, thing for me to click on. I'm very confused. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. Either way, maybe that's something for a future episode. Now we have some alien containment and, uh, and a room. You know what, can I build a window? I'd like to have it see the outside. I feel like that's a good idea. And then put one, no, there's only one window. The water is super cool over here, by the way. Very green. Okay, I feel really good about the base building. Base is looking better. Home base alpha is uh, a little bit out of hand. You know, it's a little bit excessive. It's like I said, once you've survived in a survival game, there isn't that much else to do. And I'm, uh, I'm not really having a hard time surviving right now. Now, I did prepare something before the episode began as well. I upgraded the sauce mobile. So now we have a uh, pressure compensator mark three. We have the perimeter defense system and two torpedoes. So you guys will see on the front now, we actually have two torpedo systems, which means if one is reloading, I won't get screwed over again, which is a big plus. And uh, I kind of want to go below us because I've been told that there may be a new creature in the biome directly below me, which I would really like to see. Hello, Karen. So hopefully the Mark III pressure compensator will be able to get us down to the bottom here. I feel like it should. And then we also have torpedoes, which do I have loaded? Uh, three, four. I need to, okay, I can't shoot them both at the same time. I need to load one or the other. That's good to know. If we do manage to find what I'm looking for, it's not nice. So I am gonna probably need my torpedoes and my electrical force field that'll just kind of make it screw off. But uh, we haven't done a whole lot of exploring down here. Whoa, okay, with the poppins. Well, this place was really weird. This was with all the orbs and the membrane trees and stuff, but there's apparently some cool... Whoa, that is not what I wanted to find, but that is cool. What is that? What are you? Oh, sorry. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just hitting the locals. What in the... Oh, look, it's got a face. And look, a giant leg face. I think these are, um... Sea walkers, sea striders. They're they're passive. Really cool. Oh man, I love them. I want to get out and check. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's get out and check it out. Hello. 
You are super ugly. Oh god, I'm freezing in front of your face. That's not what I need. Whew. Just listen to it. And it's like, oh, is it lead? Oh, it's leading. Break outcrop. Oh, it's leaving outcrops behind it. That's really cool. That's a cool little game mechanic. Okay, well that is a, a great creature to find. That's not what I had in mind at all. I'm also gonna try to fix you up because you're beat to shit. I don't know if I just did that or not. Bioluminescence is such a freaking cool thing. Look at this, we're so deep. There is absolutely no sunlight down here, but you can see all of the life and you can hear all of the life. This is just like so much creaking around me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, calm, calm yourself, calm your tits. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> That is awesome! That is- whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> that- that genuinely scared the shit out of me. Holy crap, did you see it? It, it got like- it got, it got unnecessarily dark. I thought it was another one like crawling around me. No, no, stop, 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 stop. I don't want to shoot you, I want to look at you. That is a uh, crab squid. And as you can see, it's a giant crab squid. It's pretty self-explanatory in its name. And it's so pretty. It's got like a giant brain and a giant No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Go away, go away, stop that. Stop, don't make me shoot you. Don't, okay, okay, you're gonna be like that, are you? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Where'd it go? Did I get it? I think I got it. I feel bad. I came all this way to look at him because he's pretty. Holy crap, he's strong too. Look at all the dents in my glass. I'm down to 47% health. I really don't want to lose my Seamoth looking at that guy. But either way, I think we taught him what for. I didn't even have my lights on this whole time. I've been down here with my, whoa, with my lights off. I didn't get him. Uh, fire is it torpedoes? Pew! I missed. I missed. Okay, we're gonna go over to three. I didn't miss. Oh, it just chucked him. Just chucks him away. There he is, he's down there. Pew! And you know what, you can have another one. Eh. I'm such an asshole. I'm just picking a fight with the sea life for no reason. Can I? I just want to. I don't think I can kill it. Oh, nailed it. I want to see it like get torn apart. <laughs> this is a terrible thing to say. But it, it's why torpedoes are cool. I don't want to like fluff it around. I want to blow it the hell up. Okay, either way, I really don't want to lose my Seamoth. That's what I came down here for. But man, this place is cool. Okay, I got the Sausmobile all fixed up. I kind of want to go back and take one more look at them because I think they're attracted to light, right? I mean, it makes sense if you're a predator in the dark and everything that you want to eat is bright, then you would be attracted to your bright food. So if I get out and I am not bright, it should hopefully not eat me. That is my hope. So, I'm gonna give it a try because I'm fairly certain that these things are huge. Like, you don't really gain a perspective in the sea moth, but they are terrifyingly large. So let's take a look around and see if I can find another one. Ooh, found some hydrothermal vents. That's different. I wonder if they're gonna be used for anything in the future. They should be. They're a very interesting thing in the world. I hate that, like, when you get close to stuff, it turns black. It scares the shit out of me. Whoa, hello. Okay, we found one. So, let's try my theory, shall we? I'm gonna get out. This might be a mistake. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna flash my lights at it. Can we do that? Hey. Hey, you. Asshole. Lights. He doesn't seem to give a shit. He's so translucent. Whoa, whoa, okay, he gives he gives us a shit. Let's just get out and take a look. Hi, hi, no, ah, 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 okay, failed, 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 let me in, let me in, we're done, we're done, we're so done. Ooh, okay, I am back in the safety of home base alpha, and I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Subnautica, guys. And like I said, the series isn't over yet, but I'm not gonna hold myself to a strict schedule of uploading it, and I know that might upset some people, but I really want to want to play the game. I want to make entertaining videos, and if I feel forced to do so, they're not gonna be entertaining, so there's no point in asking me when the next episode is gonna be, because I really won't know, but I am gonna return to it, because I'm sure there's gonna be big updates, there's gonna be stuff that I'm gonna wanna do, 
want to be one of the first YouTubers to get to, and there's lots more stuff for me to do right now, and I'm gonna be looking at No Man's Sky, which might take away from Subnautica a little bit, but you can expect a little bit more, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of what this game has to offer. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Is a taser good? Yeah, taser's pretty good. <laughs> I think. I don't know if it's lethal is the issue. Eh, screw it. You know what? I see a lot of little bits flying out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah! Oh, yes! Level 9!